Welcome to Kempo University. My name is Alan Babinick, and I'm your instructor. Uppercase versus lowercase blocks. What? All right, here we go. Now, a lowercase block is really just anchoring your elbow or pulling your elbow in to anchor it. All right, so if I was doing star block, as I do my upward block coming up, this doesn't really move that much when you do your inward block. So you're not really hitting with this part, you're hitting with this. So this isn't moving very much. This has all the motion involved in it. And so as I do my inward block, it's actually you're hitting with that part or the bottom part of your arm and that's a lowercase block, all right? So when you think of raking mace, where you step in, you're doing your punch, chop the throat, bring this all the way back over, and you're hitting, you're hitting with the lowercase block, and then the hammer fist hits, then you get to the thumb rake through the eye if you do that part. So from here, I do my hit, I get my chop to the throat, bring this back around. As I'm coming around, my hand is up, I'm gonna do a lowercase block, a hammer fist across the nose, knuckle rake across the nose, get your thumb out, you gotta turn your thumb all the way around. It's really hard, hard to do. You gotta get your thumb all the way around to rake through the eyes, and then you've got the uh, raking mace, okay? You can think of it a few different ways, but that's what a lowercase block is. So uppercase is normally hitting up here or up here, uh, lowercase would be hitting more towards the elbow, okay? So we have some of the, like a flapping elbow and things like that. You might even consider a lowercase. So stuff to think about. Thank you for watching this video production from Kempo University.